Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 16 Ultimate Team video and this guy needs to be questioned. I had no real intention to do a video around him. It was actually focused on the informs and then all of a sudden this guy was scoring some ridiculous shots where it shouldn't go in. He's 75 rated. I don't know why. What, what's happening? He reminds me of Ibarbo. And he does come from Colombia. So who knows? He could be a Barbo. Are you a Barbo? <laughs> no, he's not a Barbo. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, if you are needing to purchase yourself any Ultimate Team Coins, head over to FeverUltimateTeamCoins.com. They're safe, fast, cheap, and reliable. Or if you are wanting to get yourself some new games, head over to G2A and use the code Fuji. Right, we're ready. Let's do it. This guy right here, Pabon, he basically hijacked my squad builder. It wasn't supposed to be a specific video around him but there you go he took control but I do have as you can see the three centimeters from this week's team of the week but what I'm going to do is go through every single player showing you their stats uh, got more goals to game not only if they have three star four star skills some may have two but yeah just to show you their statistics so let's start off with the goalkeeper seeing as he is at the bottom and it is Marchetti 800 coins I paid um, for this team he actually worked quite well good reflex saves and all that his long shots like trying to save long shots uh, that that's his kryptonite that's where he doesn't really excel too well and there are so many other options that you can go and purchase in the Serie A but for this squad builder purpose I try to change it up a little bit to keep it fresh over in the right back position we have a player not from this week's team of the week but it is sec second in form Mario Gasper love him really really do i think he is the new martel jansen for me not only can, can he defend but he's got good height good pace and he doesn't mind picking up the ball and actually running at um my well my opponent's defense to actually start and create things so really really like him and then we have the fridge and also uh, mauricio holding it down in the middle now these two the only problem is it's a little bit of a risk seeing as he hasn't got the best of pace and i'm using a cam converted to a center mid maybe a little uh, a little bit of an issue there but overall i think he held it down and also uh, mario gaspel was helping him so i had no problems with that but mauricio is a good defender but seeing as he actually is the cheap alternative to castan when castan is already cheap there's no point because castan is a much better player but over in the left back position we have willems uh, four star skills is always great and 900 coins prices of players these days are so cheap and he's a very very not only cool player to use because he does have those skills and you can attack quite well with him but he's strong in defense so I really like him so over to the first uh, inform from this week's team of the week and it is Pardo for 11,000 coins my expectations weren't that high just because his shot isn't that great overall he doesn't look like a player that you're really excited to be bringing into a team but he actually played okay good passing uh, didn't really do too much going forward I don't know how he scored one goal because it didn't feel like that at all he was just the guy to well make the transition from the defense get the ball to, to the attack and yeah it was working quite well so over on the left center mid position we have Klassian or Klassan and this was the guy who I converted from a can to the center mid is he actually useful there mm, no can he play it yes like he didn't do too badly he's got good uh, strength on the ball he can hold it up and he's got some nice passing about him and overall if I were to use him again I would definitely play him in that cam spot but would he be used uh, well, would he be useful for my style of play no because he's not that great at dribbling but over to a player that is and we've got Cardona I was actually quite impressed with him yes I would have preferred if his shot was a little bit better and the way he could get into the box quicker because he was more or less like sitting around the edge and with my cams I do like to do the give give and go one and two but everyone else just seemed to maybe take up his boy well, felt like that take up his positioning but his uh, long shots were great I managed to score a couple with uh, with that and also his free kicks aren't too bad either you'll see an absolute banger in a minute and then we've got Carlos Vea four star skills uh, I like him and uh, nothing really to say about that you've got some other options that you could go down but yeah he's just a solid player didn't really do too much in the side really but I was more focusing on the actual striker when, when I understood how good he was and it is this guy Pabon four star skills bought him for 900 coins so he's basically discard five games eight goals four or six crazy record and his, his card stats like the face uh, stats you could easily get away with slapping an 82 rated overall on this card and being like, yep, yeah, he's that good. And I think that one of the reasons why he's 75 rated is that he may have some irrelevant stats that are bringing his rating down, but don't actually affect him in game, which is cracking. And then we have Elia. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, Elia. 90 pace, 64 shot, which is really, really bad. And 
I didn't like him too much. I'll, I'll just be honest. I didn't really like him. His shot, obviously, as you can probably tell, wasn't that great. And on the ball, yeah, he was trying to make things happen, but I just could feel that he didn't possess the quality. But that is the team, guys, in a 4-3-3. Hopefully, um, if you want to go out and try it, then give it a go. I wouldn't really recommend it too much, but one player I would... Pab on, let's go into the clips. So some of the goals that you're going to be seeing are just phenomenal. If you actually take into account that this guy is 75 rated, then it just goes to show that the game hasn't been built properly. If it's allowing someone to run around and just tear it up. And the team itself, I, I will have to say that I didn't really feel that it was that great. And I wasn't comfortable building up play with it at all. And every single player that I came up against was trying to like take control and, and take over possession. Where if I don't have that I feel that I struggle a little bit so it was a real test to see what these players could do individually and for Pabon to step up in a team where I wasn't that comfortable just goes to show as well that he is incredible not only with his preferred foot but this weaker one as well like these these goals should not be going in EA why why is he this good is he that great in real life let me know if you uh, support Pabon or, or know anything about him because oh, I'm gonna hold my hands up and say I, I don't know all I know is he's had a couple of uniforms on, on previous FIFAs but a very very good card to check out and even even if you don't like the uh, Liga Mex, I think it's from the, the, the Liga Mex now, then you can easily go and purchase yourself a Colombian team and put him up top with maybe having a Barbo over in the right, right wing position or the informer Corrado that I need to still pick up. He wasn't on the market for some reason. I, I don't know why. But yeah, I'll get my hands on him very, very soon. But just to let you know um, that the three centre mids, uh, are they worth it? I think Cardona definitely for like fifteen to 20,000 coins. He's a, he's a cool player. And if you are wanting to create some hybrids then he's going to make it a lot easier to get Pablon on full chemistry but with uh, Klassian I don't think that even if I were to play him as a cam just what he can offer he's not really an ultimate team player and likewise with um, uh, Par Pardo? Pardo is it? I can't even <laughs> how bad is that? I can't even remember the guy's name from Real Sociedad but he was he was average like you can bring in so many other options for a fraction of the price but the defence was okay I would definitely change it up I would probably just go and use the, the Roma defense with Manolas and Castan but yeah I wouldn't say go and build the team but the players to actually take a look at Pabon, Carlos Vea, Mario Gaspar, Cardona and uh, yeah that's pretty much it oh and Williams don't forget Williams but the rest were very very average so also guys let me know in the comments section if you prefer the way I go through each and individual player at the start to show you their stats and, and what I've actually paid for them maybe that'll help you out and even decide that if you should go ahead and purchase them so yeah if you have enjoyed please do drop a like and i will be getting some more players uh from this week's team of the week in squads and also review them so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you very soon team out Peace.